Hey my YouTube boos, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated laser hair removal video. I haven't done one of those videos, one of these videos in a while, so I'm gonna take you through the whole experience, my pre-treatment, my during the treatment, and then after the treatment, and I'm using a whole bunch of new products since um, I had a reaction to see the feel. Um, if you have not watched that video, um, I'm gonna link it down in the description bar below. So yeah, so um, we're about to just clean my skin and then head to my appointment and then yeah, so let's get straight into the video. So before my appointment, I always try to clean my skin from any oils and I do shave my skin um, just to get any of the hair that I cannot see to the human eye off my face. So we're just going to apply some shaving gel and we are going to shave because um, it's recommended you shave 24 to 48 hours before your appointment, but I like to do it right before just um, to get that any stubble and any hair off of my face because if you don't, the laser will shock that and it will hurt because it's burning that hair. So I just want to make sure my face is baby soft, baby soft smooth before I go to my appointment. To prep my skin, I'm going to go in with this old Henriksen Facey Truth Gel Cleanser. I need to wash my face just to remove any dirt and oils because if you don't, if you have any oils on your skin, the laser will also pick up on that and it will also burn your skin. So we just want to make sure our skin is nice, clean, and dry. I want to go in with this Body Shop Tea Tree Exfoliant. I'm just going to exfoliate over the shaved areas just so I prevent any ingrown hairs from forming and to also just get any dead skin and cells off of my face because you cannot exfoliate your skin um, for at least two weeks after your laser hair removal treatment. So I just want to go ahead and do it now so just to make sure my skin is nice and clean and my treatment is very effective. Now we're all clean and exfoliated so now we're ready to head to our appointment. <clears throat> I think the settings might need to be taken up a little bit. Okay. Um, this side over here is fine, but this side, like for the past four years since I've been getting laser, um, this side is always like aggressive. So like the hairs over here are stubborn, so like right, uh -huh. right in here, uh -huh. they just like keep growing. Yeah. So. so this side of the face, you're always gonna see more hair growth on this side because you have a major artery running through. Oh. So there's more blood flow on this side. Okay. okay? So nice. Yeah. So it's just expected. But I will try to make this thing
I put out some of the new drunk elephant products for my post skincare treatment after laser hair removal. So um, I'm only going to use three other products um, because some of most of their products that's like vitamin C or like a serum. It's like a serum. I didn't want to. I didn't want to try it and then like have a reaction to it because my skin is in a sensitive state right now. So I'm going to go in with this Drunk Elephant Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser and just cleanse my face. This is a non-fragrance, non-irritating, and non-sensitizing cleanser. Um, the smell is kind of different, but I did like the way it made my skin feel. Now I'm going to go in with the Virgin Marula Oil. Um, which is a little facial serum oil and this is supposed to balance and neutralize your skin out it's rich in antioxidants and omega oils so we're just going to use a couple of drops of this now i'm also going to go in with my rose hip seed oil and use this as well if you watch my past um my past laser videos and my skincare videos, I use this as well. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and rose hip oil is really good, and it's also supposed to replenish and heal the skin. And since I've had a procedure my face with a hot laser this is supposed to help it heal. Now I'm also going to try this Drunk Elephant um, protein -y Polypeptide Cream. It's a facial cream. It's a protein moisturizer and this one is supposed to help with the texture and the tone and the firmness of your skin. We did take the settings up in my um, treatment today, but it didn't make me like red or bumpy or inflamed or anything, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna take um, this Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. It's an SPF, and you know if you get lasered, um, this has sunscreen. This is basically like a um, broad, a broad spectrum sunscreen. So if you get lasered or um, you've watched my past laser videos, you know that sunscreen is very, 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 very important. And I'm just gonna top my face off with this Mario Better School Aloe and Lavender Mist. I love this mist. This is like one of my favorite ones. Just makes my skin feel calm and everything. Calmed and relaxed. 
gives you a little glow. Lock all that stuff in there. <laughs> as far as the products that I did use today, they didn't make my skin feel like any tingling or, you know, irritated or anything. They made, you know, they made my skin feel good. Um, so I am going to continue to use them after I do get lasered and yeah. The smell though on some of them weren't the best, but you know, I can kind of get through that. So this wraps this video up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like my updated skin routine after my laser hair removal treatments. Um, once I start using this Junk Elephant more, I will do a review on it to let you guys know how it is working for me. Because I want to try all of the stuff that came with the kit. So I will link all the stuff that I used that in this video today down below in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this video and want me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.